Man, what up, what up? It's your boy, S13, and I told y'all, I'm gonna give y'all some daily stuff, so let me go ahead and tell y'all a little bit of a story. The best way that I know how. By completely embarrassing myself. So, like, this is how it happened. I was chilling at school one day, right? Now, need to remind you, I'm that nerdy kid who, like, never, ever, ever does anything wrong in school ever so one day i'm chilling with my homeboy hector hector hits me and is like hey man what happened to you yesterday uh of course i i'm gonna get to that part later but yeah he's like what happened to you yesterday i'm like hey man i was sick i had to go see a doctor about my asthma because i had really bad asthma at the time i said i still have it but you know it was just really worse back then then turn around and uh he, he tells me, oh, that's crazy, you know, I'm, I hope you're okay, you know, casual friend stuff, and then the most annoying slash terrifying thing for my current, at the time, age was, had happened. The principal decided she wanted to walk in and said, Mr. Hunt, I need to talk to you. I say, huh? So yeah, we ended up like going into the principal's office. I'm like, all right, cool, bet. Um, this is new. I mean, any other time I get called in here is because I'm getting some type of reward or something. She don't seem like she's in the reward giving mood. So I'm wondering what's about to happen here. And then she says, and I'm not joking. She looks at me dead in my opticals and goes, Why'd you cause that food fight? I'm looking like, I'm sorry. What food fight are you talking about? And then she gonna turn around and I was like, I'm not playing with you, young man. I, I know you're tight. You sit and you act like you didn't do nothing wrong. And then you turned around and you the mass mom hot in the whole situation. I'm looking like, ma'am, that, that ain't even me. Like, you don't understand. That's not even a third of who I am. So anyway, as I'm trying to sit and plead my case, I lose, I started crying. I'm not afraid to admit it, I started crying. But anyway, it was like two minutes later, another person walked in and was like, yep, he did it. I say, what? So I thought about it like, wait a minute, ma'am, when did this food fight occur? She looks at me and tells me yesterday. Tell me the day that I wasn't even here, the food fight started? So yeah, that's uh, that's what happened there. I ended up getting suspended for the first time ever over a food fight. I didn't get in trouble because they was like, but he wasn't even here. And it's like, I don't want to hear that. They wasn't trying to hear none of it. I find out years later that some friend of mine, some other friends of mine orchestrated the entire thing. And I'm like, how did, to this day, I can't explain how they managed to pull that off. <sighs> There is no moral to this story. It's just a lot. There is friends and then there's real friends. You know how people say, oh, a friend to do this, but a real friend to act like this. Okay, a friend would be like, all right, yeah, he did that. But you know, we ain't gonna tell nobody. Real friends are the pricks that'll set up a food fight and blame you for it, even though you weren't there and still manage to get away with it. Anyway, thank you for listening to me about these, uh, listening to me about the, thank you for listening to my story. I literally am trying to get this channel and my uploads together more frequently. So telling these little tales kind of helps a little bit, you know? So if you like this video, please like, comment, sure, and subscribe if you know you haven't already. You know, it's okay if you watch the videos, but I'd appreciate it humbly if you subscribe. So, as always, because I don't have another outro for this, peace out and howl out.